Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, you need to, for one, concentrate and take a deep breath. Let it out. And let everything that's bothering you kind of float away into the oceans of consciousness, consciousness, and I'm talking about tape number two, Long Fish by Fish Season, featuring two of my favorite musicians in the game. If you know who those two dudes are, yep. You have Paul and Morris from both Spectral Voice and Blood Incantation, as well as Side Projects Galore. I'm not going to go into that, but this collaborative just piece is, oh my goodness, it's so fucking good. Like, just so chill and yeah just absolutely what i expected and there's an awesome backstory to this release and i really wish i would have written it down because i think it was just in a instagram story maybe paul posted about the record where it kind of was going over its like roots which date back to this like unreleased new age release. Ah, fuck. I'm, I'm drawing a blank, but just look at those synthesizers. Erica took this photo. Erica, you gotta get Paul to keep the mustache. Mustache Paul is sick. But, um, yeah, this is my shit. So, let's just get that out of the way, like, not being biased, if you watch this channel, you know. When it comes to chill synthesizer music, that's, that's my shit. Always has been, always will be, like, at the end of the day, it's like, death metal, ambient music and shit, and then, like, neurosis and you know, ISIS and all that stuff, like, but also, like, Funeral Doom, and I would throw, like, Burning Witch into that category, Graves at Sea, like, just a Sonder, kind of classic type shit, and then, like, Black Metal as well is kind of, like, right there, and Dungeon Synth, yeah, like, you know, again, same with, like, Hardcore, but, yeah, first... I'd have to say death metal, but then I love just proper use of synthesizers and tape delays and just all the gnarly shit, but this was also mastered by the Eternal Champion again, Arthur Risk, who did, I think, every one of these he didn't do that. Hold on. He did all these. And one, I can't wait for you folks to hear. I'm going to re-review it when the vinyl drops. You can't read the title, thankfully. But, yeah. This right here is something extremely special. But, Hovercraft and, like, Paul's solo material and stuff. Um, SFI Recordings. I wish I would have got uh, the third ambient mixtape, but when Ocean of Peace comes out, don't sleep on it, for real. Like, it's just, it's amazing. And I really hope this Hovercraft release gets a vinyl press. That would be fucking rad. But all this, to me, like, this 
and like obviously time wave zero equal a good time but if you're just looking for subconscious chilling and music that legitimately sounds like you're floating in isolation tank or just literally in a non-scary way just in the middle of the ocean like It's beautiful music, honestly, like, and it's crazy because, like, these are the same two maniacs that helped create this. Like, that that's why, I, like, and if you've ever heard, like, Homebody, I did an old review on Homebody. Homebody's another one of Morris's, like, projects, and it is just amazing what he's capable of. It's, like, no wave death rock it's super fucking cool and paul i think he's so good at writing black metal music like yeah it's it's fucking amazing honestly but the outer photo is by julia williams layout and design by carissa talian and just look at that if you know just a single thing about like new wave music and especially like 90s new wave cassette releases this title i meant this cover like is just completely on the money and it's just it, i think it's fucking sick i vibe records put this out and Whoever designed this, you're brilliant. But, um, <laughs> they put Paul's face and Morris's face on the fish for, um, the poster. Well, one of the promo posters. And, like, to me, this is how you limited the 200 cassettes. So, hopefully, by the end of this video, you go and check this out for yourselves because this is so good. I Vibe Records presents the sophomore swim through obscure cosmic oceans with fish season. Morris and Paul featuring 25 minutes of subdued immersion into a ethereal, I, I always fuck that word up, waters via dreamlike clouds of analog synthesizers and tape delays mastered by author Rizk. I vibe out of Chicago. Amazing release right here. I was babysitting Hudson a couple days ago and Hudson's too. And he was kind of not acting up, but he was a little out of control. <laughs> so, um, I have a computer right behind me. It's just not set up yet. Uh, I am having problems setting it up and shit, but, uh, he plays on, like, he'll sit on my knees and, like, mess around on the keyboard and shit, pretend he's, you know, doing stuff. And I'll put some, like, chill music on. Normally, it's honestly Secret Stairways. Because, like, there's even a little thing here that says, like, this is kind of made for child daycare nap time music. So, I, you know, I kind of wanted to give that a try. And I did one time, but um, a couple of days ago, like, this had arrived earlier in the week, and... I instantly fell in love with it. I played through it a couple times and it's just like I was having a real bad day. And uh like my dad's death day is coming up and just a lot of shit, you know, like with my mom like beating cancer and just like I don't know, and just dealing with 
some pain and stuff that just seems to just get worse sometimes, but it's nothing I can do about it. It's just, you know, try and manage. But when it comes to music, like, as much as I, you know, have been enjoying putting on just, like, ridiculous, you know, like, last night after I was done babysitting, like, I listened to Macabre, then I put on Monotheist by Celtic Frost, then the new Death Worship, the new Imprecation, Galmagor, Dripping Decay, and I ended off the night with some amorphous and um this morning i had a my second sunrise this week though to fish season long fish it just or tape number two number two fish season just grade a improvised ambient awesomeness and um like Paul's on the move the Cromar and Behringer since Morris is on a move Rowan and Korg synth tape echoes by a Rowan RE310 and I think it's Maestro or Mastro EP3. I've never heard of that company, but uh, Fish 2 was improvised and recorded live in the S169 Studio Compound, Denver, Colorado. Winter 2021 and was mastered by author Rizk in winter of 2022. I wonder if they picked this up from author at the last Philly show, but I'm not sure. I didn't see author there, but he could have been backstage. I, I'm not really sure. Shit's all different after, you know, the vid and shit, but so the track Long Fish on Fish Season 2 is just grade A legitimately, I'm not just saying, I always say that shit but it's the top shelf ambient like legitimately I, yeah, you know, like, I highly recommend watching, if you're not a patron especially, there's a Blood Incantation, Aniba Music, like, What's in My Bag episode. If you like this type of stuff, get a pen and paper and write down some of the releases, especially that Jeff and Paul pick up. Like, Jeff picked up this one release by, um, I know I'm gonna draw a blank, but it's like, the fucking, I went looking for it yesterday, and it's like sold out everywhere, I'm like, fuck, I found an original copy for $150, but it just got reissued in 2022, so I'm gonna find it, but also iVibe Records did an, uh, an amazing job on the cassette, the magnetics sound. Fantastic. Just, and the shell, just amazing. Long fish. By Paul and Morris. Fish season. Chapter two, long fish. So that's what the official title is. I apologize. 
fish season two, long fish, an absolute ambient gem slash new wave, not new wave, new age gem. And if you're like, what the fuck, new age? Like, yeah, new age music. Like, this is really fucking cool if you're into that type of stuff. If not, it's still worth your time. But I'm just saying, if you enjoyed Time Wave Zero, like, you're not just saying that you actually enjoyed it. You're gonna fucking love diving into this type of stuff. Because, like I said, to me, it kind of all... It's not all connected, obviously. It's completely separate, but, like, there's a lot of just, you know, similarities just because it's the same musicians using, like, some of the same equipment, I'm guessing, when it comes to the synthesizers. So it just at times gives you just this very pleasant vibe of, Being sonically happy, yet at the same time, like, especially with Time Wave Zero, like, there's parts on it that, like, I'm not going to say they're spooky, but, like, there's just cer certain, part, like, um, I guess, uh, sequences or, I'm trying to think, movements that are, like, a little you know, a bit more spooky and out there and just we this is a lot weirder and you know, there's obviously more instruments going on. The whole entire band's doing separate things using separate instruments. And this is just, you know, Paul and Morris jamming out and coming up with some really fucking cool shit. I wish I would have got a Fish Season 1 tape, because I'm sure I would have absolutely loved that as well. But Fish Season Chapter 2, Long Fish, to me, essential, new age, ambient music in 2022. My uncle, he's like a conductor and shit, and... Like, I know he, because I, I grew up, and, like, that's how I know about all that New Age shit, is because, like, my uncle, he was real into it, and, um, I, when I showed him Time Wave Zero, I was like, this isn't, like, death metal, like, I don't, I was like, don't get the, don't let the logo deter you, I'm like, look at the instruments used on the back. And especially, like, he was looking at what Isaac, like, with the percussion, like, some of the percussion stuff, he was like, whoa. He's like, they really, like, use this stuff? Not, like... And then he saw the, the captured on two-inch tape, and he was like, whoa. Like, he's like, you know these guys? I was like, kind of, yeah. <laughs> like, they're fucking really sick. And... Yeah, like, this is, you know, this is not, like, a split. It's not, like, it's just two friends making music, having fun, and it ended up becoming something very special and enjoyable, and that's Fish, fish Season Chapter 2, Long Fish, on iVibe Records. This is a 2022 release, and don't be surprised if you see this on my year-end list. Very enjoyable, chill, morning meditation music, if that's your thing. Or Schmucker Barrel, and just sit back. Or if you're eating those things Mario eats. Enjoy, but buy the ticket, take the ride. Be safe, know your surroundings, set and setting are important. And yeah, also, 
If you came here for death metal, I apologize, but I have a lot of death metal coming your way. But also, just listen to Pathologist in the meantime. If this is not up your alley, which I understand if it's not up everyone's alley, I still highly recommend, you know, all of Paul's solo stuff. Hovercraft. Fish Season, and obviously Blood Incantation Time Wave Zero, which is like all of these releases together on space steroids. So again, keep that in mind. This is its own thing. I just like listening to pretty much like legit I can't think of a record Paul has been involved in that I legitimately don't like. Like, for real. I, I, I from Merc Stave to Leech, like, Hanging Moss, I love that shit. I regret not grabbing a Merc Stave LP when I had the fucking chance. And some of you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just... Go check out Merc Stave and yeah, thank me later. But in the meantime, there's so many cool side projects that are on the metal side when it comes to Blood Incantation. I have one right here, which I played through once yesterday, and oh my god, Isaac and company. The new Stormkeep is a fucking monster. This is, dude, sounds like early, like, immortal. Seriously, this is so good. And, again, um, another side project. This is the Keepers Morris. I don't think I ever reviewed this. I might have. But I have to censor something out. But yeah, this is an absolute banger. Also, I, w I fucked up and missed the cassette of that. But. Howdy. Thanks for watching, though, as always. You fucking rule. Now, again, when it comes to Fish Season, Chapter 2, Long Fish. This is released on iVibe Records, limited to 200 cassettes, and this is definitely some of the best modern, new age, synth-driven, ambient music you're going to hear today. I'm not kissing ass. If I thought it was mediocre, I would, you know, but no. This is fucking pure fire, although it has to do with water. And the ocean is actually one of the mightiest forces on the fucking planet. You don't play with the ocean. You don't turn your back on the ocean. But it's also a very peaceful place if you let it be. But at the same time, undertoes are gnarly and scary. And so are rip currents. So be careful when it comes to the ocean, but also sometimes just sitting on the beach. Again, just close those eyes and just, if you have a Walkman, put Fish Season 2 on, Long Fish, and enjoy. Buy the ticket, take the ride, I Vibe Records, and Colorado States. Fish Season, Chapter 2, Long Fish. I forgot, Japanese characters have to be read vertically. But, um, yeah, amazing stuff. And a great cassette layout. If this is still available, get it. You will not regret it. That rhymes, and I won't forget it. Thanks for watching as always, you fucking rule.
New Grand Valar is available now. Yikes.